welcome to let's crack neat pg the youtube channel for an academy our neat pg division and uh, here you'll find the top educators quality content and you are assured a great learning experience so my name is chatanna mittal i'm currently pursuing my mbbs from aims new delhi and uh, i hope you've already downloaded the an academy learning app in case you haven't done that please go to the play store download the app and you will have to register with your mobile number then set your goal as neat pg to access mbbs courses and after that you will need an invite code to unlock the free plan so you can use my invite code chatanya10 and get a 10% off on your plus subscriptions and you can also unlock the free content all right so these are some of the top educators who are teaching live on an academy and you can follow them there right and educators are supposed to make plus courses for all of you right so these plus courses are obviously paid courses and you will need a subscription to access them but to show you what the live experience feels like we have free of cost special classes available on the platform so even if you don't take a plus subscription take maximum advantages of the free content that are being made by all these plus educators so there are batch courses that are running these are basically live classroom courses so these are live batch courses that you can watch and they will give you the live classroom experience if you want to assess your preparation there is an option for testing we have special tests and weekly tests right and if you have any doubts we have a doubt clearing feature now that is called an ask a doubt feature right so take advantage of all these three kinds of things and with this your preparation will become one stop with an academy right so everything here is going to be covered and we have the upcoming batches for neat pg for next for fmge and for inict so all kinds of batches we have so if you are preparing for any of these entrance examinations or if you are an mbbs student or if you are a student studying for bds or ayurveda or homeopathy and you feel that these classes are helping you take advantage of whatever you can right and uh, free tests are there for you to assess your preparation so that you can compete with a uh, lot of aspirants for the examination and that makes an academy the easiest way to learn for neat pg online we are giving you flexibility in terms of your schedule when you want to learn what you want to learn in terms of the language you can learn in english you can learn in hindi you can even learn in your regional languages and you can watch the videos as many times you want you can attempt the quizzes as many times as you want so just go ahead and install the application take advantage of the chat feature there take advantage of the polls which will help you compete in live quizzes and you are basically having the ability to learn anytime anywhere you want so there are two kinds of subscriptions there is an unacademy plus subscription and there is an unacademy iconic subscription in the unacademy plus subscription you get access to the entire live experience that is the live classes the live tests and live quizzes the batch courses and you are getting access to a structured schedule which will help you streamline your preparation okay and i already told you that the tests feature and the doubts feature make an academy a one stop unique solution for your neat pg preparation as far as the iconic subscription is concerned you not only get access to an academy but you also get access to our premium partner that is prep ladder which we have recently acquired and as you all know prep ladder is having premium video lectures for select topics question banks which are updated according to the latest pattern a rapid revision course and the handwritten notes and if you use these handwritten notes it will be very easy for you to make your notes especially if you are towards the end of your preparation it will be very easy for you to compile all your preparation in one place right so all of these notes are printed hand colored and if you buy them separately they'll cost you 7000 okay so the iconic subscription for one year will cost you 55000 and if you just simply apply the referral code chatanya10 this will give you a discount of 10% and this will cost you 49500 you can also take the two year plan that costs you 69300 and the three year plan will cost you cost you 82800 if you take the unacademy plus subscription the one year plan is for 25000 and the two year plan it is for 36000 and you can take the 3 year plan for 45000 all you have to do is use the referral code chatanya10 and again you are getting a 10% off remember this referral code is applicable for any kind of course that you purchase whether it be for neat pg or whether you are preparing us uh, 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 taking a subscription for someone in your family preparing for neat ug or upsc this is valid okay so this is how you have to take the subscription just choose the plan and you can apply the referral code you have to enter my referral code and click on apply and you can also apply credits for an additional discount right so that was about the an academy subscription so now let's move on to today's video so the next topic to cover is measurement of body fluid volumes very very important uh, topic from the point of mcqs right and the most important mcqs here is going to be the evans blue dye it's also a previous year question that has been asked 
right? So this topic is regarding how body fluid volumes are going to be measured. So one concept that you understand before I tell you some memorizations, some some uh, compounds to memorize. Um, first, try and understand the concept. Okay. So let's say you have uh, a substance Z. Uh, okay. Let's let's give the name to a substance. Let's say that substance is called as. Let's say that substance is called as. Uh, give me give me any name. Let's say that substance is called as a glass. Okay. Let's call it substance X. Okay. And you have a container that is filled with fluid. You have a container that is filled with fluid. And this container that is filled with fluid, it does not have any amount of substance X already present in it. The properties of substance X are that substance X, it does, it remains in the container. It does not diffuse out of the container. It remains in the container as such. It dissolves completely in the container. It does not precipitate and it can be easily measured as concentration from the container. So you will add a known amount. Let's say you add 10 grams of substance X into this container. Okay. You add 10 grams. So now you know that there is 10 gram of substance X in the container. And then you take a sample from here. You take a sample and you identify the concentration of substance X. So the concentration that you get, let's say you get the concentration as, let's say you get the concentration as 100. Okay. So that means the concentration that is equal to the mass per unit volume, right? And now you can calculate the volume by dividing the mass by the concentration. So that is how you will estimate the volume using certain substances. So what are the substances used to estimate the volumes of your various body fluids? That is a very important thing. You can measure the volume of various body compartments using certain substances. And what are those substances that can be used? That is what we are going to talk about in this particular video. So I hope you understood the concept behind the measurement. Now we will have to talk about some memorization points. So before I do anything, I want you to be very clear with what is the body water distribution. So I've also made a video on what is the distribution of the body water. So very quickly, uh, you guys can either watch that video or I'll very quickly summarize it for you guys. The total body water is divided into two compartments, ECF and ICF. ICF is intracellular fluid. So two thirds of total body water is generally ICF and one third is ECF. This ECF is further divided into interstitial fluid volume and intravascular volume, intravascular volume. And this intravascular volume is, uh, again, this one third will have three fourths of it is present as interstitial fluid and one fourth of it is intravascular volume. Besides that, you have certain transcellular fluids. So just have a look here. Um, first is the estimation of total body water and estimation of total body water can be done by forms of water which are different from water but behave similar to water so here you will have a uh, radioactive water this this is radioactive water okay and this is heavy water okay heavy water so you are using different isotopes of hydrogen or uh, and they are present in water so you are using them to identify what kind of what kind of um, what is the actual volume of water in your body and the last possible indicator is antipyrene so radioactive water heavy water and antipyrene okay so that is for the first thing for estimation of total body water it's very easy to remember radioactive water heavy water and antipyrene the second thing is extracellular fluid so extracellular fluid i told you is one third of the total body water and to estimate this to estimate this you use a very important strategy and that is called as niti so strategy in hindi is niti okay niti so n for n for sodium so this is a different isotope of sodium right um i is iodothalamate i125 iodothalamate so this is another isotope of iodine then t can be thiosulfate t is thiosulfate and i here is inulin right so you can use these uh, substances to estimate to estimate extracellular fluid okay now once you have estimated extracellular fluid very very important thing to understand is that icf it cannot be estimated directly it cannot be estimated directly so if you want to calculate icf first you have to use first you have to calculate total body water and then you have to subtract ecf from it to get icf right so that is how you will estimate icf so if you are asked which of the following substances are used for the estimation of intracellular fluid the answer should be none of these okay the answer should be none of these but the examiner can be very smart the examiner can be very smart the examiner can put a question and say which of the following substances is used for the measurement of 
intracellular fluid right and you can have an option you can have an option which says uh, heavy water plus plus you can be given let's say thiosulfate in that case this can be the correct answer because so using heavy water you can estimate first total body water and then sequentially you can estimate ECF using thiosulfate and then you can subtract and calculate ICF so that is the important point to note here okay so now once we have talked about this we have talked about the main distribution now we will further talk about estimating interstitial fluid volume and intravascular volume so interstitial fluid volume it can be not it can again just like intracellular fluid it cannot be directly estimated so first we will calculate first we will calculate the volume of plasma we will calculate the volume of plasma and plasma volume estimation is a very very important question because this is one of the most clinically significant ones and here you can either use iodinated albumin that is using uh, a 125 isotope of albumin or the the previous year question that had come in the examination that is ivan's blue dye also called as t1824 t1824 ivan's blue dye so how to remember this is a short trick okay not a very short trick but it is something that is so bizarre that you guys will always remember it Ivan's blue so if you look at the word plasma if you look at the word plasma plasma ends with asthma right plasma ends with asthma right so asthma means asthma means sky right asthma is sky and the, what is the color of sky the color of sky is blue okay so Plasma, asthma, sky, blue, Ivan's blue dye. So plasma estimation is done by Ivan's blue dye. Any doubts? Any doubts that you guys have, please try to clear them out. If during, especially, and you can drop a comment for this video, and I'll be, I'll make sure I try and answer that. Okay. So one question that can be asked is, iodothalamate, a radioactive iodine. It is uh, so, uh, 125 isotope of iodine. It is used for estimation of. So your question can be this way. I-125 is used in estimation is, is used in estimation of, right? In that case, you can, uh, let's say one option is extracellular fluid, one option is plasma volume, and one option is both. In that case, your answer will be, in that case, your answer will be, because in ECF, you can use iodothalmate, and in plasma volume, you can use Albumin. You can use albumin which has this isotope of iodine, right? Now, after that, to calculate blood volume, you all must be familiar with the fact that chromium is used. Okay, uh, 51 isotope of chromium is used uh, because it can label RBCs. It can label RBCs. It is also used to measure the half life of RBCs, right? So, I think that you guys will be familiar with this, and then it can be used to calculate blood volume, right? Because in blood volume, you will also include the volume of RBCs. Or you can calculate it using, if you know the plasma volume and if you know the hematocrit, you can also calculate the blood volume by back calculation. And to know the interstitial fluid, you have to subtract the plasma volume from the extracellular fluid volume. Am I clear? Have I made how to measure various substances very, very clear for you? And please remember two mnemonics that we have stressed on. One is NITI for extracellular fluid and for plasma volume, we went with Ivan's blue dye. And that's a previous year question. So that's very, very important. All right. So that's bring, that brings us to the end of this video. Right. So thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, I'm really thankful that you guys spent your time on uh, uh, on today to watch this video. And do remember to hit the like button if you guys like this video. That's a, a really powerful motivation for any educator. And do drop a comment. That's an even more powerful motivation. And for your benefit, do remember to subscribe to the channel. Let's crack Neat PG and you will get access to all subjects that are being made and we are giving you the live classroom experience on youtube okay and you can also subscribe to our telegram channel the link of the telegram channel is also in the description it's with the same name so faculty keep updating their uh, various lectures here so stay subscribed to that also and do track what is uh, the content that is coming on a particular day so these are the referral codes at 10. You can use this to unlock free plan, right? You can use this to unlock a free plan or you can also use this to purchase a subscription. You will get a 10% off on your subscriptions. And do remember to hit the bell icon for notifications. Okay. Thank you so much guys.